Hi, welcome to Manufacturing Day. I'll be your tour guide, Carter Holt. Part of our tour today will be to show you how a power distribution transformer is made. Here at our facility, we make single phase and three phase transformers. A transformer acts very similar as to a power breaker at your house. It helps take power from our power grid and converts it to energy that you can either use at a business, at a, a manufacturing place, or even your home. We, uh, we have 900 employees. 750 hourly and about 150 salary. We make of our transformers, of the single phase and three phase, we are vertically integrated, which we make about 80% of what goes into a transformer. So what you see here, we take raw steel and we'll actually bend it, form it, cut it in order to make a tank. We also take raw aluminum, paper, and or copper as conductor to wind coils. The paper you see here is a special paper meant for and designed for transforming use. It actually has glue impregnated into the paper so that when we bake it, it hardens it up so that it handles all the forces that the power grid needs in order for this unit not to fail out in the field. Here at our Jefferson City uh, facility, we make submersibles as well as pad uh, transformers. This submersible will, we make specifically for uh, city type environment, so California, um, East Coast, West Coast, so that it's not visibly seen and it's underneath our infrastructure. We also make pad mount, which you will see out in, right next to either a fast food restaurant or on the outside of a manufacturing or an even an office building. So here we have a pad mount. A pad mount allows us to keep it above ground. We put it on actually a concrete pad and then when we ship it to a site, this whole thing is tamper proof. So, let's go out to the production floor. Welcome to our factory. In this panorama is our coal line department where we have 40 plus machines that typically works roughly around the clock five days a week. Here we have an operator using a machine to bend flat steel for our tank manufacturing process. This is one of our mini multi-tool turret presses. It contains 30 plus dies to punch holes in steel based upon our tank design. In our steel manufacturing department, we use a combination of robotic and manual weld processes to create our tank structure for the transformer. Here's a quick view of a coil weighing machine in action. A coil contains a unique combination of paper, aluminum or copper conductor, and glue, which is wound as per our engineering design. This process step is called core coil assembly. This is where the heart of a transformer takes shape. It combines our coils with a core within a metal insulated frame. This becomes what is known as an active part. In internal assembly, we hook up the active part to the external components of a tank. This process takes skilled employees that can read wiring diagrams to produce a functioning transformer. At our facility, we have three semi-automated test floors for our different size transformers. All of our transformers meet Department of Energy government regulations. Once a transformer passes all required tests, a certified welder welds on the tank top to create an airtight enclosure protecting the active part. Here we have an operator wiring fans and breakers into a control panel based upon customer requirements and design specifications.
In final assembly, we add customer decals, warning labels, and other accessories based upon the design. Like using instructions to build a model airplane, the labels and accessories enable electricians to safely hook up the transformer into the power grid. With built-in quality, we inspect after every major production step to include final audit, which is our last step prior to shipping the transformer to our customers.